Today's Mass Intentions, to celebrate this Mass versus the Intentions of Fatima, the Liturgy Office, also the Blue Army Intentions, Sacred Heart Apparel, Divine Mercy Group and Intentions, St. Margaret Shrine. Also today in the United States, we pro-life march is going on, so we're asked to pray for the ends of abortion. In all our prayers, in Our Lady's prayers. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Father Jeff Couture. I'm from the Diocese of Bridgeport in the US, uh, near New York. That's all you got to know. And um, I'm here for the winter. I'm helping out, so uh, welcome. We are celebrating the readings of today, but the Mass uh, will be the votive Mass for the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let's take a moment to call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit, in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Gracie grant that through her intercession may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron. Look, they said, we are your own flesh and blood. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led Israel in all their exploits. And the Lord said to you, you are the man who shall be shepherd of my people Israel. You shall be the leader of Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a pact with them at Hebron in the presence of the Lord, and they anointed David king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years. He reigned in Hebron over Judah for seven years and six months. Then he reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah for 33 years. David and his men marched on Jerusalem against the Jebusites living there. These said to David, you will not get in here. The blind and the lame will hold you off. That is to say, David will never get in here. But David captured the fortress of Zion, that is, the citadel of David. He grew greater and greater, and the Lord, the God of hosts, was with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My truth and my love shall be with him. My truth and my love shall be with him. Of old you spoke in a vision. To your friends, the prophets, you said, I have set the crown on a warrior. I have exalted one chosen from the people. 
My truth and my love shall be with him. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. My truth and my love shall be with him. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name, his might shall be exalted. I will stretch out his hand to the sea and his right hand as far as the river. My truth and my love shall be with him. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The scribes who had come down from Jerusalem were saying, Beelzebub is in him. It is through the prince of the devils that he cast devils out. So Jesus called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot last. And if a household is divided against itself, that household can never stand. Now if Satan has rebelled against himself and is divided, he cannot stand either. It is the end of him. But no one can make his way into a strong man's house and burgle and burger his, his property unless he has tied up the strong man first. Only then can he burgle this house. I tell you solemnly, all men's sins will be forgiven and all their blasphemes. But let anyone blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and he will never have forgiveness. He is guilty of eternal sin. This was because they were saying, an unclean spirit is in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So today, I want to talk about why we're here, and a matter that I think that was brought up to me in great importance. As a priest for many years, one who's devoted to Mary, a lot of us devoted strongly to Mary, we get messages once in a while in prayer. I'm not a mystic. I'm just talking in strong prayer. Sometimes we have a saint or the Blessed Mother or God speak to us strongly in prayer. And in my 14 years, I would say, it, I could barely count on one hand how it happens. And a couple days ago, I had such an experience. I was here a couple months ago saying mass at the parish church of Jacinta Francesco. And I felt Jacinta preaching through me. And then in prayer the other day, praying over what I should say, I was given the answer by Jacinta. And Jacinta, there's two things, there's two emotions she feels here. One is gratitude for everybody coming to see Our Lady. That makes her so happy. 
The children of Fatima jump for joy. It's the second emotion or second concern that I need to talk to you about today. And this is coming from her. And I grew up in a family that you always listen to the dead. You please the dead at all times. Because when we die, we will be accounted to them. So I'm gonna tell you what she said. Jacinta, and again, I'm not a mystic. I'm just telling you this is through prayer. But very strong, it was her. She is sad because many people come to this shrine and do not consider the souls in purgatory. We can honor things. We can look at the beautiful buildings. We can put all our petitions in and our intentions. But the number one thing of the message of Our Lady that the children knew was you need to pray for the conversion of sinners, especially purgatory. The best way to think this is what if it was one of your family members who died and that's in purgatory? I'm saying this to the people who are here and the people that are watching. We should keep in mind the dead every day. The dead long for our prayers. This is the message of Fatima. This is what the kids saw. This is what Jacinta still lives for. She is asking you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, don't forget the dead. Don't forget them because they don't forget you. Let us now stand as we offer a petition to prayer, except to God as we pray. First, for all the intentions of the children of Fatima and Our Lady, that we may honor them through our prayers, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all the clergy and staff here in Fatima and the Shrine that work hard we ask for their grace and the patience that God gives them in thanksgiving. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the intentions we place here at the altar and those we submit to Our Lady, that she may answer them with the grace of God. We pray to the Lord. We pray also in this day of pro-life for the end of abortion. And for the dignity of all life, we pray to the Lord. We pray also especially for all those who have died, especially the souls in purgatory. That we may assist them in our intentions and prayers, we pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions we place in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we come to you now at the shrine of your mother. We bring our petitions and our hearts to you. We also ask and open them to the guidance of the children of Fatima to pray for the conversion of sinners, especially and offer reparation for the sins and those in purgatory. We ask you allow us by this visit here in Fatima to grow in further faith and grace. We ask this special protection and guidance of our mother as we pray. Together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness have received the wine we offer you, for the vine of work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty in your, in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one course of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, savor the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, all the angels and saints who pleased you throughout the ages, and merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to pray the words that Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracie grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins and the faith of your church, and grace you grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us salve each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. So every Monday, except for one Monday, I just can't remember which one it was, there'll be English Mass here every Monday at 3.30 at this altar until, until Holy, at the end of Holy Week, and that's when I have to go back to the diocese. But so you're welcome, any English speakers here, and I'm hearing confessions regularly in English as well, and you can talk to the, when you check in the confessions, you'll, you'll see the advertisement. We're going to pray the St. Michael prayer after the blessing. We're going to, I'm going to pray the St. Michael prayer, and then we're going to do the memorari to Our Lady. When we do that, I'm going to face the statue. Please place any in your heart, anything you ask of Our Lady, anything that's burdening you, you place it to her today. The Lord be with you. May my God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and love and serve the Lord. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin his souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known. To anyone who fled to that protection, implored their help, or sought their intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly into thee, O Virgin to Virgin to our Mother. To thee do we come before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace, everyone.